In this video, I'm gonna compare Bazite and CatchOS, tell pros and cons, tell features, and at the end, tell you which one is the best. So make sure to watch this video till the end because I mentioned the important things at the end of the video. After it boasts on desktops and handhelds like the Steam Deck, so I'll share not just the theory, but what it actually like to game on them. So let's go. First, let's talk about ease of use. Bazite is all about simplicity. You install it and you're ready to game. Steam, Proton, Wine, all set up already. It even feels a lot like Steam OS, so it's very beginner friendly. Catch OS is different. It installs easily, but then it gives you a lot of tools to tweak things. Kernels, CPU setting, performance switches, it's like a playground for people who love control. So if you want a console lock experience, go with Bazite. If you enjoy customizing and tweaking, Catch OS is for you. But let's be real, sometimes you just care about the speed. This is where Catch OS shines. It has a special kernels built for gaming, CPU specific builds that take advantage of modern processors and tools to adjust your system for maximum FPS. Bazite is no sludge, but it focuses more on stability than pushing hardware to the limit for casual gaming. It's great, but if you want every last frame a squeeze out of your high-end rig, Cash OS will do it better. Think of it like this. Bazite is a solid sports car you can drive every day. Cash OS is a race car tuned for the track. Of course, performance isn't everything. Sometimes convenience matters more. So let's talk about out-of-the-box gaming features. Bazite is built for gaming the second you install it. Steam, Proton, Lodris, HDR, Variable Refresh Rate, and etc. All ready perfect for couch gaming or handheld devices. Cash OS can do all of that too, but you'll need to install and set up more things yourself. Steam, for example, isn't pre-installed, so if you want instant access, Bazite is the winner. Cash OS makes sense if you don't mind doing the setup to get that extra performance. But how do they handle your actual hardware? Both work with Nvidia, AMD, and Intel GPUs. Bazite, thanks to Fedora, runs especially well on Steam decks and handhelds. Cash OS has pre-installed Nvidia drivers and a special builds that really shine on the latest CPUs. So if you got a branded new gaming PC with the latest Ryzen or Intel chip, Cash OS gives you an edge. But if you're using a Steam Deck, Bazite feels like home. Now let's talk about updates, and this one is important. Bazite uses something called an immutable system. Basically, the core is locked, so it's harder to break. Updates come in controlled bundles, keeping everything stable. Cash OS is rolling release, that means you get the newest updates right away. But sometimes they can cause bugs, it's powerful, but it also means you might need to fix issues now and then. So if you want a rock solid stability, Bazite is better. If you're okay with troubleshooting in exchange for the latest features, Cash OS is the choice. So which one is the best? Here's the bottom line. Pick Bazite if you want something simple, stable, and ready for gaming right away. Perfect for Steam Deck, couch gaming, and anyone who doesn't like messing with setting. Pick Cash OS if you love customizing, have modern hardware, and want to push your system for the best possible performance. The pain point for most gamers is not knowing which distro won't waste their money. Now, you know exactly where each one fits. Honestly, both impressed me. Bazite nailed stability and Cash OS blew me away with the speed. So, this is it. Thanks for watching this video.